Days after Typhoon Haiyan slammed into the Philippine coastline, some of the hardest hit areas have yet to see government aid or assistance. Seen here from space, Haiyan was one of the strongest storms ever recorded. In some places, the smell of death is overwhelming. Evacuation efforts are ongoing from devastated Leyte province, but for those who've had little access to food and water, frustrations are spilling over. We have been here for so many days. Look at my children. We have nothing to eat anymore, no clothes to change into. Others who just got here got into the plane right away. Yes, we did not die in the typhoon, but we will die here of hunger. Without electricity or running water, local hospitals are struggling to help the injured and sick. We need generators because uh, our, labors are, our laboratory is crippled. We cannot do anything without the power. Hospital staff in Cebu have also had to cope with a surge in births, with nearly 40 in just three days. While vital aid is trickling in, damaged roads and other infrastructure are complicating relief efforts. The U.S., meantime, is amping up its assistance. As of last night, the Marines reported that they have delivered 107,000 pounds of relief supplies to the government of the Philippines. For some evacuees, making it to Manila, the capital, brings little comfort. There is no food, there is no, uh, okay. well, no medicine, no nothing. And for millions of Filipinos, no homes to salvage. Maggie Mazzetti, The Associated Press.